5x plus 1. Actually, I didn't have 5x plus 1. It was just 5x plus 1. Is that in parentheses? No, yeah. I put it in parentheses. Okay, so you have 5x plus 1 plus 3 plus 2y i equals 2x minus 2 plus y minus 6i. Right? That's it? Okay. So the main important thing what we're doing is we're talking about complex numbers, which means they have to be in the form of a plus bi. Okay? Where a is going to be your real part of your number and b is going to be your imaginary part. So what they're trying to do is they want they're just asking us find the x um, find the value of x and y that are going to make this true. So what we want to do is we want to put both of these in the form of your complex numbers. So what I need to do is I need to look at this and say, all right, how can this represent a plus bi? Well, obviously you can say, well, b is going to be multiplied by your i, right? And a is going to stand alone. But you can't just say a is going to be 1 or a is going to be 5x. you got to group everything in that together. So I'm going to say that's going to represent my a plus this is multiplying by my i, which will be my b times i. Does that make sense how that's your a and that's your b? Equals, now the same thing again. I can't just pick, is it 2x or is it negative 2? This whole expression here has to represent my a plus, oops, that's. Yeah, the i is. There, yeah. yeah. i is multiplied by both of them times y minus 6 is going to be my bi. Does that make okay. sense? All okay. right. So what I'm trying to what I'm just trying to say is if you just pick negative 2 or if you just pick 2x, then it wouldn't be in the form of a plus bi because you'd have an a and a b, but then you'd have these random extra numbers in there, right? Okay. So you got to have your a and your b. And then all they're saying to do is just set them equal to each other. So I'm saying a has to equal 2x minus 2 for it to be true. And then your b, which would be 3 plus 2y, equals um, y minus 6. And then from here, we just go ahead and solve. Subtract the 2x on both sides. I get 3x plus 1 equals negative 2. Subtract 1. Um, that's a negative 2. Subtract 1 equals negative 3. x equals negative 1. All right, and then here, I'll subtract a 3. So I get 2y equals y minus 9. Subtract my y, I get y equals negative 9. Okay, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Do you see the difference yeah. on what you're looking into? Um, because pretty much the only difference between what I did and what you did um, was the fact that you just took 